Well, Joe and Jesse, you are about to celebrate your 25th anniversary. You must wonder how that's possible. On this beautiful afternoon, we gather here to renew your marriage vows and to reaffirm with happiness a new era in your life. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is not expecting perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligations are reciprocal. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not having married the right partner, it is being the right partner. And it is remembering that remaining devoted, confident, and hopeful in each other are the secret ingredients which will help you continue to remain two very happy people. Both of you believe in marriage and your relationship, and you know that a deep bond unites you together. Today's recommitment should encourage you both to continue that dedication to each other so that you can look forward to a settled and contented future. And then a poem. Love is giving, not taking Mending, not breaking. Trusting, believing, never deceiving. Patiently bearing, faithfully sharing. Each joy, each sorrow, today and tomorrow. Love is kind, understanding, but never demanding. Love is patient and constant. Its strength never falls, fails. A promise once spoken for all time unbroken. Love's time is forever. And then a great passage from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verses 9 through 11. Two are better than one, because they will have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? You are certainly different people than you were 25 years ago. And 25 years from now, you will be different still. Yet you are once again about to make promises which are meant to last a lifetime. Joe, will you continue to have Jesse as your wife and continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? Do you affirm your love for her? And will you love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. And Jesse, will you continue to have Joe as your husband and to continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? Do you, do you reaffirm your love for him? And will you love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Joe and Jesse, on your wedding day, you exchanged rings as symbols of your never-ending love and the eternal love that God has for us. May you always wear your rings as a reminder of your wedding vows to each other and your commitment to continue to live in unity, love, and happiness. And then we say, God bless these rings and the two who exchanged them in love on their wedding day. Keep Joe and Jesse safe in the circle of your protection and love. And then why don't we have the three of you gather up here with mom and dad. God who is love, we are grateful for the children of Jesse and Joe and Patrick and the family they have become and will continue to become. We are thankful for how each person here has contributed to this relationship. May we be ever mindful of the powerful possibility of love and the joy of families that truly love one another. Amen. May the light of love, the light of understanding, the light of respect, 
the light of tolerance shine eternally on your family. Joe and Jesse, today you have renewed your promises and vows you made to each other on your wedding day. You have symbolized the renewal of that marriage union by the joining of your hands, promising vows, and the blessing of your rings. It is with pleasure that I conclude the ceremony of this renewing of vows that joins you and forever binds you as husband and wife. And why don't you kiss your beautiful bride? Amen. And may life continue to bless you as it so evidently has. Amen.